Hi, welcome back to Moose and Chemistry. This is Writing Scientific Notation, Lesson 3. Well, what's the purpose of scientific notation? It's to take impossibly large numbers and make their multiplication process a lot easier. For example, if you have the number 393.2126.7392 times 37423.0009, Trying to multiply that on a piece of paper is a nightmare because you have to carry from each column to each column and make sure that you have all your sub columns and sub numbers all added up. It's just a big mess. So how do we avoid this? Well, we turn each number into a scientific notation by using the powers of 10. That means we're going to be moving the decimals like over one, two, three, four, five, six. So that number would be written as 3.9321267392 times 10 to the 6. And the same thing with this next number. You go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This makes that number 3.7423100009 times 10 to the 5th. Well, the beauty of this is when you add when you multiply these two together, you're going to add these exponents. Now, you know that exponents is going to give you like 11, right? So this is going to give you 14.71 uh, times 10 to the 11. But however, you have to remember that you cannot have two numbers to the left of the decimal in scientific notation. So you're going to move this one more time over, and that 11 is going to become 12, which gives us this number. So that number is a whole lot easier to write than this number right here. This number and that number are the same. Anyway, so you can see that scientific notation has its advantages when multiplying, adding, subtracting, and dividing. Okay, if you like this video, give us a like and consider subscribing so we can grow this channel. You guys be snarly, and we'll see you back here at Moosine Chemistry.